Hey, thanks for listening to The Daily Dose. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below so you can get every Bible lesson, every devotion, every short, every spiritual content that comes out to keep you uplifted and encouraged. So click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get everything. Every now and again, I like watching a show called Judge Judy. I'm sure most of you and most of my audience knows about this show. Every case starts with two people who cannot fix uh, their problems. In one particular case, um, I was watching the plaintiff go on an emotional rant about how much the defendant owes them. The plaintiff went on and complained about how much of the rent they had paid, the light bill, they paid the car note, they paid everything. And their complaint was that the defendant owes them money because they exhausted all of their finances taking care of needs. Well, Judge Judy looks at her and says, where are your receipts? Well, she didn't have any receipts. And for that reason, it did not matter the bill she had paid and the complaints that she was making without receipts. Emotions, talking points, logic doesn't matter. Everything in the courtroom has to be backed up by evidence, receipts. One day, you and I, we will close our eyes for the very last time. It is called death and none of us can escape death. And one day you will have to face God. And whether you was a good person or not will not matter. Whether you gave contributions to certain organizations will not matter. Whether you were rich, poor, black, white, whatever nationality, it will not matter. The only thing that will matter is if you have receipts. Because the truth of the matter is, we are in a dilemma. Man is in a dilemma. Our dilemma is that we are guilty of sin. And God is a righteous judge. He's not an earthly judge. He is a righteous judge. In the same sense that if someone robbed a bank and they were caught and they had to go and face the judge, they was to tell the judge that they were a good person and they made a mistake, would you think the judge would let them off? No. Or if they was to ask the judge to forgive them, that judge may just forgive them, but the punishment for their sins, the punishment for what they done, it would still have to be what? Carried out, right? The Bible says all have sinned, all fall short of the glory of God. All have gone astray. We are guilty and we are deserving of eternal damnation. So God is a righteous judge. and He simply cannot let you off because you was a good person. You have to have a receipt. And the good news is, and our scripture today is found in Isaiah, 53 4 through 6 that Jesus Christ paid it all in full for you he paid it if you are a believer if you believe in Jesus Christ he paid it in full for you with his precious blood and the receipt is in the resurrection he paid it for you and if you're not saved and you're not sure about this Jesus, this salvation thing, I want you to know, would you rather pay your own ticket or would you allow someone else to pay it? Paying your own ticket before God means you have to be perfect. It means that you have no sin, you have never sinned, and you are a perfect individual. No one is perfect and all have sinned. Good works will not get you into heaven. Being a good person will not get you into heaven. Your self-righteousness will not get you into heaven. It is the righteousness of Jesus Christ. It is asking him into your heart and allowing him to pay the price for you. He is your ticket. 
The Bible says here in Isaiah 53, four through six, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrow. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions. Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was stricken for us. Simply means that every time you sin and you deserve to be beaten, Jesus Christ took that whip. He took that beating for you. See, the story is told of a of a man who was a leader. He was a freedom fighter and he was a fugitive. And a lot of people were following him. And so he had a camp set up for all of his millions of people following him. And he had strict rules in the camp, very strict rules. And one of his rules were that if someone is caught stealing in his camp, they have to be severely beaten almost to death. This man had a big whip with thorns on it. And so when it hits you, it pierced your flesh. So someone in this man's camp was caught stealing. And so all of the people assembled together and they bring up who was stealing in his camp. This person was stealing food. Come to find out, it was this man's own mother who was caught stealing. Now he was in a dilemma. Surely he cannot take a whip and beat his mother. She was an elderly woman. Surely he can't take his whip and beat his mother, his elderly mother, almost to death. But if he don't beat his mother, then he would lose the credibility of his word. Because in his word, in his rule book, whoever's caught stealing, they have to be severely beaten with the whip. So the people are watching to see what this leader is going to do. And so he calls his lieutenant forward. They bring his mother to the stage before everybody because she is caught stealing. He ties his mother to a pole and he takes the whip out of his hand and he takes his whip, he hands it to his lieutenant. He looks at his mother. The crowd is watching to see what's going to happen. And the next thing he does is shocks everybody. 